So now my name is Karam Paul. For those of you that don't know me, welcome. Um, we're practicing Kundalini Yoga for the back and metabolism today. So let's find a nice tall spine. Pull your sit bones out from underneath you. Welcome, family. Thanks for being here. Um, sitting up nice and tall. Let's roll the shoulders back and down. Stack our ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips. And find some alignment in your spine. So you rest your eyes closed. The backs of your wrists are going to rest on the tops of your knees. And we're going to start with a long, deep, slow breath here. So as you're breathing up and down the spine, it's almost as if you're preparing the spine for the movement of energy that you're going to create for your practice. You're breathing from the base all the way up to the crown. Feel the breath travel up and down your spine. Vaheguru Ragasa Mahala Chautha Sopuruk Ek Omkar Sadhguru Parasad and for some people, it's become normal to breathe through the mouth. And in yoga, we primarily use the nadis, so both channels of the spine are affected by both nostrils. So we're going to start to breathe in and out of the nose now. And if that's a little confusing to your body because you're not used to it so much, then just put, the, put your tongue in the upper cavern of the mouth, in the upper palate. It'll block the wind from moving through your mouth, through your throat. There it is. Inhale deeply and exhale completely. And breathing to use the many, many chambers in the torso, so the lungs, like feel the air moving through the nadis, in through the throat, in through all of those branches of the lungs. Chest rises. Right? And then exhale. Belly button draws back to the spine. And on this next breath, let's engage fully. Inhale through the nostrils, send that breath down through the lungs, and then down a little further. Open the lower saccalis of the lungs, and a little further even to open the diaphragm, lower diaphragm. Keeping that spine nice and tall. Now exhale to reverse. Exhale, deflating nice and slowly like a controlled balloon. The belly button drifts back to the spine. And that's what really starts to change. Right? Create change within you. Get rid of all that stale air. Keep on moving at your own breath. If you're an advanced practitioner or you've been studying pranayam for a while, your lungs capacity is probably a little bit more. So stretch it out to an eight or nine second breath. Just make sure that the inhale and the exhale are equal. So once you become comfortable with this breath, you start to notice that the body starts to calm down and it starts to get grounded because your neurosenses or your nervous system is starting to sense that you're in control. If you have a busy mind, or if you're feeling a little overwhelmed with life, inhale sat, and exhale nam. 
and train all of those thousands of thoughts in your mind to just come to two sacred words, truth I am. And if you're not there already, index finger and your thumb connect. It's another way to speak to the nervous system. And Dristi moves to the center of the forehead. Roll the eyes in to the bridge of the nose and up right between the brow point. We've got 30 seconds here to practice all of your components. The visual is the golden cord of the spine. Beautifully done. Inhale deeply. Suspend the breath in. Contract the base of the spine. Curl your toes, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your seat. So you're going to squeeze the rectum, sex organs, and navel here. Squeeze. And exhale slowly. Keeping that spine nice and tall, allowing the breath to escape. Get ready for our next inhale. Inhale. And set yourself up. Fourth vertebra of the spine. Home of the Kundalini, squeezing, setting the base, setting your foundation for your practice today. Exhale slowly to release. Before we get into a rapid breath exercise, I want to stretch out the legs. So let's come into life nerve stretch. You guys know this one. Mm. You guys peep the Instagram. There is a beautiful picture of my friend Mary Ann, or Anne Marie, Mary Ann. Anne Marie doing um, life nerve stretch. Or you can put the pull your sit bones out and point your toes and flex your heels here. Point your toes and flex your heels. So you notice when you flex your heels that the backs of your knees go flush to the floor. That's kind of what you're looking for. Okay. So as you are doing this, try to press the backs of your knees as much as you can, trying to get that full activation in the back of the legs. So I like to raise my arms up, palms face. Inhale here. And then exhale to come into a forward fold and let your hands plant anywhere. And once you get there, start to bounce up and down. Keeping our hands stationary, okay? So it doesn't matter where you can reach. You can reach knees, shins, ankles, or your toes. And if you can get down, all the way down to your toes, wrap your peace fingers around your toes and press your thumbs into the big toenail. Okay, now let's hear that breath. Inhale up, exhale, press with your heart. You can rest your eyes closed here to start to sense what part of the spine needs my assistance. What needs my attention today? I'm taking these body scans as you warm up. It's very helpful for when you're in the heat of the Kriya. See, if you want to pick it up now, let's do it here. 20 seconds. Keeping that spine nice and tall. Chin is close to the neck, to under bandha, what we call it, neck up, nice straight line from the base of the spine, all the way up to the crown of the head. Okay, a little wider range here, get a little wild, loosen up that lower back, last five, four, three, two, inhale, keep your hands connected, heels off the floor if you can, hold suspend and contract again. Take another sip so you can exhale gracefully and just melt into that forward fold. And love on your back here. Just breathe into that lower spine.
with every exhale, maybe you dip a little further into it, pressing with the heart, allowing the head to follow. And working your way. Let's find a deep stretch, deeply stretching here. So imagine what it might look like if your nose were between your knees and your belly was flush against your thighs. If you're uber flexible, you can even lower your elbows to the floor. And for our last 15 seconds, family, you're going to really think about the energy emanating from the crown of your head. Keep that spine tall. Remember, we're creating space so that we can allow, allow the energy to move through. Last few breaths. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale to slowly rise up. Ooh. Bounce your knees up and down. Let that spinal fluid settle. And let's get straight into, you guys know the drill, right? We're gonna get the navel moving all the way up. Fingers in the mounds of the hands on this one. Roll your shoulders back and down. Chest is propped forward and up. Take your tongue all the way out and pant like a dog. Fingers in the mounds of the hands. I'm not going to have you here long. Thumbs are plugged up. Now put your tongue in your mouth. So you're asking the body to pump up the navel every time the breath leaves your nostrils, the belly rides in. And as you get used to the posture, you start doing it a little faster. Avadine, you made it. Yay. <laughs> nice to see you. Okay, so keep it nice and strong. There is, um, you get more out of the practice when you really pay attention to the geometry of the pose. So there are angles in each of the postures you'll find. And just look for right angles, look for more pressure. Roll those shoulders back and down. And if you lose engagement with the navel, guys, um, Stick the tongue back out, because you'll find it again. The navel will automatically start to cooperate. That's it. Beautiful. Get set up anywhere, right? Right here, too. Last 15 seconds. Do we have 15 seconds left in us? Let's perfect the pose now. Chin is parallel to the floor. Eyes to the brow point. Ears over the shoulders, lean up against that brick wall, align the spine, sense the divine, eyes to the crown of the head, last five, four, three, two, inhale, connect your thumbs above your head, stretch your fingers all the way up, touch a cloud all the way up, tuck the chin, get more length there, beautiful, keep stretching, don't give it up, take another sip in. So the exhale could be nice and graceful. Just softening the arms now. Backs of your wrists float to the tops of your knees. Index finger on your thumb connect. You'll have a few breaths to yourself here to just sense. Let the prana disperse. It's so intuitive. You just have to focus at your brow or keep your attention inward and grounded and the energy will just, you'll find that it'll just disperse on its own. Our last few breaths. Mm. 
Inhale together. Exhale together. All right. Let's get it going. Hands in prayer mudra, please, for our tune in. Thank you all for being here. Let's bless this space. We've got 90 minutes to merge. We believe in primal wisdom that is true through all ages. We call on our satnam, our truth, our authenticity, our true identity. We call on the voices and the angels and the guides. We open the Akasha. Welcoming all of our teachers before us. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Call upon your highest self. Let's summon the divine. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Inhale deeply to begin. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Jugad Gude Name, Sat Gude Name, Sari Gude Deve Name, Ad Gude Name, Jugad Gude Name, Sat Gude Name, Sari Gude Deve Name, Ad Gude Name, Jugad Gude Name, Sat Gude Name, Sari Gude Deve Name. Inhale. Spend the breath in and exhale slowly. All right, we're going to cross our legs in front. Um, this is called Sukhasana, so you're still crossed here. You don't have to use a cushion. I, I kind of, um, let's try it without our cushions first, and then, um, and then we can go back to them if we need them. Who knows? Maybe we need them. So ankles are crossed in the front. And your knees are going to come up and down on this first posture. But our hands are going to be here at the heart. So watch me here. Hands to the center. As my knees come up, my right hand is going to, the palm is going to face the sky. And as you exhale down to put it back at heart center, the knees come down. So the knees and the hands move up and down together, right? Let's get started. Inhale up, exhale down. You're going to alternate hands here. So, I mean, this looks like it's easy enough, but you can probably already tell that it's going to be a little challenging, right? It's kind of like patting your head and, and rubbing your belly. But, you know, our hips aren't really made to move like this. So you really want to feel that pinch in the hip. Maybe we can get some circulation, some space that we were talking about in the hips. So you're going to just return your hand to the original position, keep on alternating. And then um, now, as you lower the knees, clap your hand. I'm going to add something else to it, right? All right. So I think you got to go inside for this one, guys. Rest your eyes closed. Perfect. That's it. Coordination, what happened to our coordination? These are like grounding exercises, right? This is, this is hemisphere, hemisphere, working with the hemispheres of the brain. These are exercises for that. So stretch your arm all the way up, unbend the elbow, that's it. Create some space. So you want to kind of build up a rhythm here. So 
So maybe you use the pinch in the hip as the as you know your deciding point to build the rhythm. Use the feelings and the sensations to kind of keep you on track. Yeah, you guys got what I meant. I didn't articulate that too well, but I see that you guys you guys got it. Sweet. So getting those knees all the way up as high as you can. Heavy and forceful now. And we're really going to get into the rhythm of this. God, this, this posture is dedicated to all of your lower back pain. We're working on our motor coordination now. I see we've got a groove going. And we've got one minute left. And if you focus to your brow point, you start to get lost in this whole time and space thing. You really become infinite when you can focus in and up. Sense your connection to that point of view. That's it. 20 seconds out. Building our strength, building our resilience with every breath that we're challenged. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Inhale, both arms up. Hold, suspend, contract. Curl your toes, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your seat, please. Nice, tall spine. Exhale, keep your arms up. Inhale. Do it again, lock it off. Mula Bandha, root lock. Find it, squeeze, contract. Lock those elbows. Keep your arms there, exhale. You're telling your body, you're telling your mind, you're all, you got it all under control. Inhale. No more anxiety. Squeeze. Exhale slowly to release your arms down. Ooh, relax your breath. Backs of your wrists, tops of your knees. Good. So if you need to keep your eyes open here as we relax in this posture, you can. Just make sure that you focus on one fixed point, please. We try to avoid eyes wandering all around. There's a really a dristy factor in this whole controlling your mind thing. The eyes have, play a big part. And it's not like super rigid mind control. It's not that, it's just coming back to our base, getting grounded, reminding ourselves of how much in control we can be. Inhale deeply and exhale completely. on the waist here. Inhale to straight spine. Exhale to round. And try to touch your forehead to your right knee. Inhale up. And exhale down. Ooh, this is a good one. This one's, this one's going to create some space.
So once you have the posture, start to like straight away, start to build up your speed in this. Now remember, as we practice, you can always speed up as long as the breath and the body are synced. Once the integrity of the posture is compromised, that's when you need to slow it down. Inhale, full breath up, exhale, full exhale down. We're going to make the most of our time. You breathe 50 capacity, 50% capacity, you get 50% of the practice. It's, it's that simple. Inhaling to 90, and then you're reaching with your forehead. And the cueing here says moving from side to side and get wired. So what does this turn into? This turns into a completely different sensation when I start to move faster. In, in Western practices, but my time in India, my short time in India, I, I found a lot of people doing Raja Yoga and Kundalini Yoga all over. You know, rapid movement is just the way, it's just an ancient way to keep the body healthy. That's it. Beautiful. That's it. Nice full breath. Nice work, Noel. Create that space. Now, Kathy, your range of motion has gotten like so, so, so good. Wow. It's increased a lot in these last few weeks. like every movement you're doing is like you're massaging a part of your body, that lower back that's like making it accessible to your hands. Or... Okay, create a faster rhythm now. Inhale, sad, exhale, now. And let's start to get into a little bit of a meditation here. Moving meditation. The spinal fluid is circulating. And hopefully you're at your max now because we're going for a 30 second spurt. We've been at it for about three minutes. We've got half a minute left. Make this last 20 seconds your best 20 seconds of this pose. Beautiful. Full range now, yogis. Big breaths. Inhale, sat. Exhale, now. Last 15, 14, 13. How many can you get in? Six, five, four, three, two. Let's inhale all the way center. Meet me here. Inhale. Suspend the breath. Pull that heart string forward and up. Wide open. That's a full suspend contract. Curl your toes. Squeeze your thighs. Squeeze your seat. Stay nice and calm inside. Exhale. And we're going to stop in threes, right? Two more. Inhale. Mula Bandha, root block. Start at the base. See that red light. Foundation security, belonging, all there. Where do you belong? All there in the root. Squeeze. Exhale. Squeezing the root works out insecurities too. Did you know that? Inhale deeply. Pull to spend contract. We have to be comfortable with not knowing. Exhale slowly. Hands on our knees. We're going to go move straight into this next posture. Spinal flex. Inhale. Sweep the chest forward and up. Exhale. Round that back. Inhale. Forward and up. Exhale. Round the back. We're going to play here for a little while. This is going to feel good. So 
as we pick up the pace on this one, by all means, if you're dealing with an injury, you're going to go a little slower. But I want us to get full, full benefit of doing parallel to the floor. You're going to hold the knee parallel to the floor. You're not going to let your head fall down. We really just want to work with the spine. Okay. So you feel the difference already, right? You're going to start to pump the body and move a little bit more rapidly. And you'll see the pelvis start to loosen. You're going to rock on the sit bones here. The pelvis is going to move forward and back. It's our creative energy. All of you artists out there. Feel the pelvis rocking. Chest forward and up. Pelvis rolls back. Into the front of the pelvis. There it is. Okay, rock and roll. Let's do it. Halfway. Your breath is going to be slightly slower than a breath of fire, fam. A little slower. Than a, but it's, so it's going to be fairly quick. Follows the breath, not the other way around. Keeping our elbows nice and straight now for leverage. Kind of pulling back on our knees here so we can really work a full range of the spine. Here we go. 30 seconds to go. neutral 90 degrees on that spine hold remember the connection from the root all the way to the crown now past the crown and the clouds hold to spine contract squeeze your root think earth focus at your crown think sky keep your body straight exhale backs of your wrist, tops of your knees. Let's take a big breath in. Pull the breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Thanks, exhale slowly. Beautiful, well done guys. Let's stretch out, stretch the legs. Oh, let's walk them out. I want to give these hips a break. They've been, after that um, knee rising exercise, I feel like our, our legs are too tight now. Let's take a few stretches to both sides. I feel good. Doesn't that feel good? Do you guys stretch in the morning? No? You go straight, you stretch your hand to the coffee machine, right? I know, I do too. And I sit there with my coffee and I stretch. <laughs> oh, I feel so good. Great space. Oh, I was feeling really... Pressed. You know, I've got a lot of things going on, as you guys know. I'm feeling all in my shoulders. 
all of this holding on, holding on to all the things we're responsible for, all those subconscious burdens right there on the tops of the shoulders. All right. Hey, okay, hold on. This is turning into a Hatha quest. Let's let's uh let's get back up. <laughs> Legs cross in front of you, Sukhasana. I know you want to stay there. We're gonna do more of that. Arms are like a field goal on this one. Palms are facing towards the front, and we're just gonna twist from left to right. So your arms are like antennas. Remember what we talked about. Um, angles are so important. So there's a right angle at your elbow. Eyes out. Yeah, so your knees, uh, so your so your nose is going to move with the center of your chest. The tops of our arms are parallel to the floor. So your elbows are not below your armpits. They're parallel with it. So, so you, you feel the width, the width of your chest. You feel that your shoulders are as far away from each other as possible. That's it. Perfect. Fingers are together. And you're going to wring it out here. A lot of people refer to this posture as the washing machine. Like the blades are fixed, right? Blades are fixed and they're just washing. Washing out that spine. Washing out all of the emotional debris from the spine that everybody talks about. So whenever you lift the arms up like this, you're creating a little bit of flow in the lymphatic system. So whenever the arms get tired over the shoulders, you start to create, you start to help your body with its own natural ability to detoxify. This is a beautiful thing. Make sure that the prana is full. Inhale left, exhale right. And now we're halfway. If you're feeling any at all dizzy, please your eyes open it's totally fine to keep your eyes open but if you want to go inside you might get into the depth of what could be going on in that spine you might even be able to get a little bit more range and you use the weight of your arms to swing that torso open swing that chest open Every step at time. Excellent. You've got 40 seconds to go. And you're going to start to feel your energy moving now. We are creating an opiate response here. Opiates are moving into the bloodstream. If you can create enough pressure, it's like your body's happy pill. Almost. Almost there. 15 seconds out. Make sure you're turning that nose. Circulation to the brain. Inhale, center. Find your angles and hold. Curl your toes, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your seat, eyes focus to the brow point. Tell the energy where to go. Keeping the arms up, exhale. This is pressure cooker time, right? Inhale. We're renewing our cells. We're squeezing the base. We're squeezing, consciously squeezing up the spine. Exhale. Our last one here, inhale. Doing great, hold on to it. This one seals the deal. Hold suspend, contract. Exhale slowly to release your arms down. Backs of your wrists, tops of your knees. I'm going to give you some time here. Let's meditate.
have a quiet moment alone here with yourself. Scanning the body. Just noticing all of the exit points now that you've created, all the space you've created to release. Sending a breath to all of those stubborn parts of you. Places where you know that you're maybe holding or harnessing more tension, where you tend to store things. Let's breathe into those spaces. stretching our legs if we need to. We've got 30 seconds of rest longer here to go, and then we're gonna move forward. You can bounce your knees up and down if you want to. Or you can stay meditating. Some, sometimes people just choose to be still. It's entirely up to you. I know you work so hard to get to that point, you just want to enjoy it, right? Wonderful. Last few breaths. Meet me back in Sukhasana. You can use your cushions if you need them on this one. Because this one is really for the arms and the upper torso. We're going to work the heart. So I'm going to stagger here so that I don't touch Chris. <laughs> and look, our arms are going to be like this, Chris. You want to go up? Okay, you're still in shot. Cool. So we're going to flap our hands up and down. Clapping the arms up and down to the rhythm of your breath of fire. So you guys, this is neutral, right? You're going six inches up, six inches down. You're not gonna go, you're not gonna flap like this. It's gotta be a little bit shorter of a movement so that you could, you know, use a breath of fire. Inhale up, exhale down. You're not here long. Roll those shoulders back and down. Don't stay scrunched up there. Otherwise, it's going to hurt. That's it. Soften those shoulders. Just move your arms. Use the breath. 30 seconds to go. Tuck the chin, find length in the spine. Focus on something that doesn't hurt. Five, four, three, two, inhale. Just one hold on this one, but we're gonna go straight through, hold. Exhale, arms forward. Up and down here now, breath of fire. Half the time is the last one, so you only got one minute on this side on this, this exercise. So you can struggle through it by really meditating on what's uncomfortable in your shoulders, or you could pretend like you're bouncing a basket. Your arms are straight, as straight as you can. And we've got 15 seconds left. Strong breath of fire. Yep, let's do it.
inhale. Head to stand. Parallel to the floor here. The mummy. Hold. Exhale slowly. Release your arms down. Three sweeping breaths and we're going to move forward. If it gets a little active, if you have stuff around you, just move it to the side because we're going to have to move our arms like this, okay? So if you've got a water bottle or something next to you or a person next to you, move them to the side. <laughs> so with this movement comes a, um, a chant, and we're chanting Har with this, okay? It's H-A-R. And every time you chant Har, we pull the navel in and up. So it starts to get very powerful. There's stimulation in the mouth, stimulation in the navel, and the arms are going to be swinging. So we're moving in wide circles. You're going to kind of look for some kind of centrifugal force in the arms to bring the circulation to our extremities, the tips of the fingers. And when we're ready, let's do this together. So it's a brisk monotone, okay? Head, 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 head. We're almost done. Keep going. Head, 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 head. 20 seconds to go. Hut, 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 windmill, hut, 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 like the winds behind you. Hut, 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 hut. Let's shake it out. Good job. So does anybody notice any tightness in their face when they move their arms like that? Like the jaw, right? You know, it's really common that when we do these postures, like when you, whenever you stretch this part of your body, the shoulders of the body, it's all kind of connected to the nerve plexus. There's a muscle in here, and um, a lot of nerves move through a small hole right here. So when your shoulders tighten up, or you do too many things forward, like you're moving this way and not a lot this way, this, the muscles here get short and that nerve bundle starts to tighten. So it starts to affect different areas of the jaw. It's all connected, you know? That's why it's so important to do these, especially if you're like hairdresser, like Marluz and I here. Um, you know, repetitive movement, anything that has repetitive movement, to open your shoulders up, to take care, to open the shoulders up, to create that space, to win that mobility back. Cool, we're gonna come squatting and we're gonna we're gonna move up and down this one's not too long it's only a minute our hands are on our our, our hips and we're gonna be chanting Hobbs too we're gonna get through this minute together so try to stay with us hands are on the hips um, we're gonna go for it okay hot 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 Hut, 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 halfway, hut, hut, hut. Hot, 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 20 seconds. Hot, 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 hot. Last few. Hot, 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 hot. Hot. Take a walk. Good job, guys. Breathe out of your mouth, please. If you really want to slow that heart rate down, inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale fully through your mouth.
I love that we have old Chicago cobblestone in this courtyard. It's so good. It's so good for your feet. You know, feet, feet health, feet yoga. So I know that, you know, when you're shoe shopping, you like to look for shoes that are super cushiony, that have that memory foam in them or, you know, have thick soles. But you actually don't want that. You want to use the feet because feet are the big regulator of the body. So the muscles in the feet become atrophic when you don't use them. And sometimes those memory foam soles, they spoil your feet. They make you reliant. So what happens when your feet doesn't work, or your feet don't work, your knee has to work harder. What happens when your knee doesn't work, your hip works harder. And same thing goes for the hands and the shoulders. It always moves up. All right, so let us come down here. There are, you guys feel okay so far? Good? Okay, good. Everybody on line's cool? Yes? Right on. Rock on. Let's do this. Um, should we take a little bit? Let me see here. I had it ready and then I lost my page. Here it is. Hands are interlaced, guys. In Venus Mudra. You're going to choose to cross the right hand, the right thumb over the left if you are more masculine, left over right if you're more feminine. Um, we're going to inhale all the way up to 90 and then exhale down. You know what? I'm going to change the posture. I forgot. We have to sit on our heels. So, yeah, you could, yeah, did you do this the other day? Okay. So sitting on our heels as best as you can. If it doesn't work with the cobblestone, you could still use your, you could still sit forward, Marluce, if you need to. Okay, let's get started. Inhale up, exhale down. Wow, the beautiful pressure that you can get with this. This is an exercise set for the metabolism, and it will create um, a really deep relaxation if you give it your all. Okay, inhale up and follow me here. Inhale up. Exhale. Arms parallel to the floor. Inhale. Inhale. With the breath suspended in, pump three times. Arms up, exhale. Inhale. Pump. Exhale. Inhale. Pump. on your own. So let the hammer come down three times and then hold it up. It feels better. 
practice three, three repetitions. Now really go for it now. You've got about 40 seconds left. You know what to do already. This is um, stimulating the thyroid and parathyroid. It's a nice regulator of the hormones. And you're on your last few rounds. Like, like really, like you've got this huge hammer. Feel force in your hand arms as they come down. Push, push, push. That's it. Use the breath now. So you're practicing like a yogi now, not like a yoga practitioner. Like, let the Kriya work for you. Let's take two more rounds, okay? Let's take two more. That's it. Wow, beautiful. Okay. Great job. Last one. Why are you going to hold? Exhale slowly. Release your arms down, backs of your hands, tops of your thighs. You just let everything, hopefully you cracked a little bit of a sweat there. Um, let everything cool out for a second. Breathe deep. And come onto your backs, please, all the way back. You're going to lie back. You're going to place your hands in Venus Mudra and just place it behind your neck, okay? So all the way back on your backs. You got it, Marilus? Okay. Okay, so raise the leg two feet and point the toe, but leave it there. The left leg. Left leg. Two feet off the ground. A height of two feet off the ground and leave it there. You're just kind of chilling out here like you're sunbathing. Just like that, right? You're just as relaxed as you would be if you were sunbathing. The, the nervous system is going to kick on here and the belly is going to shake a little bit. So you're using the weight of your leg to feel compression in the belly, holding the leg up. The toes are nice and high. Toes are pointed. It actually helps if you point the toe. It keeps the leg nice and strong and stable. Long, deep breaths. Don't hold your breath. Long, deep breaths. Just try to find as much relaxation as you can in your chest, in your arms, still creating that space there, but the leg is challenged. The navel is challenged here. I know it's getting kind of tough. Hang in there. And you're a few breaths away now, 20 seconds out. So good. Last few breaths. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale to release. Toes out. You keep your arms there. Just try to relax as deeply as you can. You'll give yourself what you need so that you can move forward. Thirty seconds. Stay in your meditation, okay? Eyes focused to the brow. Let's do the right leg. And I'm coming Long deep breath. Home. And I'm coming How long you can make 
take that leg from the hip joint through the knee all the way up. Kriya is like life, you know, there are things that creep up that are challenging. You just move through them with grace. A lot of things are unexpected these days. Just find it within you to stay calm in your mind. Move through it with grace. Halfway. seconds out. You're on your last few breaths. We're perfecting the pose now. Keep it up. Keep it up. You can do it. That's it. Last few breaths. Inhale. Exhale slowly. Nice and slow. Lower that foot. Challenge your navel. Let that heel settle nice and gracefully, gently. Then walk your feet out a little bit. Let's get some room here. Toes out. Let gravity do its thing. Breathe from the belly. Drop all of your weight into the floor. Nice work, guys. Breathe into the hips. Tops of the thighs. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and rotate the ankles and rotate the wrists. I want to take a happy baby here. I think it might feel good. Let's thank these hips. Taking a happy baby. Grabbing the outsides of your feet, soles of your feet to the sky. Knees come just off to the sides of your body. You're going to rock side to side here. the floor to massage that lower back. Move your feet to wherever they need to go so that it feels good. Not everybody's going to look the same. Cool. Hug those knees up to your chest. And for those of you that are live here, just go nice and slow because this cobblestone is something else. For the rest of you, rock forward and back and come sitting up, please. We're going to do a pranayama series, so I suggest that you put a cushion underneath your bum if you have one, and um, we're going to set ourselves up here. Nice, tall spine, please. So this one's called a U breath. You're going to use your thumb and your index finger as the valve releases, if you will. They're going to plug off your nostrils for alternate nostril breathing and I'm just going to talk you through this. Let's roll the shoulders back and down. Ah, take a few breaths to yourself, breathing in and out through the nostrils. Kind of getting those pathways ready. Left hand is on the left knee. The right thumb is going to plug the right nostril and you're going to do long, deep breaths into that left channel. Equal breathing, inhaling and exhaling. At the same time. Keeping the head and the neck, spine aligned. exercise these exercises here are going to be so grounding so stick them in your back pocket let's remember how our body is relating to this breath so 
want to open the nurturing yin channel of the body. That channel is called the Ida, if you want to look it up later. This is the nostril you breathe out of when you want to put yourself to sleep, when you want to slow down your mind, when you want to get grounded, when you need to slow down for your kids. Slow your thought down to make a decision. If you're an insomniac, this is the nostril you breathe from, left channel. Use your index finger to plug the left nostril. We're going to breathe deeply out of the right nostril now, guys. to feel this nostril move straight into the brain. Rest your eyes closed. Find the sensation. Vitality, strength, resilience, the power of the sun. This is the masculine energy of the body. It's kind of aggressive. Is this channel when you want to wake up? gets the blood flowing, the mind active. Keeping our spine nice and tall. And you're not just using your nasal passages to breathe. You're sending that breath all the way down the channel of your spine. So the spine has to be straight, like an like a elevator shaft it has to be straight for, the, for you to move through those different floors. Don't make your energy work any harder than it has to. Beautiful. Deep breaths now. Inhale through your right nostril. Use your thumb to plug the right nostril. Exhale through your left. And continue. Inhale through the right. Switch fingers. Exhale through your left. This is why they call it a U breath, because your hands are in the shape of a U, okay? alternating between your thumb and your index finger. If your eyes were open, you'd be looking straight forward. Keep your spine nice and straight, nice and tall. Very sweet, beautiful practice here. You guys are focused well. Stay there. Stay in the space that you've created. Make a cozy home for your soul here. Let the body be comfortable. Let the mind get adjusted. Let the systems regulate. You're in the driver's seat. Now we're going to start alternating a little faster. We're going to inhale through the left nostril, exhale through the right, and you're going to find a breath of fire here. So make sure that you're using your you breath.
30 seconds. It's a breath of fire, so it's pretty rapid. Switch hands, inhale through the right hand, exhale through the left, breath of fire. Right hand just stays on your knee. Really to keep your chest open, right? Inhaling through your left nostril, exhaling through your right. You've got 35 seconds to go. Open the lungs. Direct the nervous system, coordinate the hemispheres, you are almost there. These are all of the beautiful things that are happening inside of you. Focus at the brow point, activate the pineal gland, find the pituitary gland, use your facets, you can do it. Inhale through both nostrils, relax your arms down please, big breath through both nadis. And hold, let's lock it off, curl your toes, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your seat, feel complete here, squeeze from the base of your spine. As a focus on the cloud, let's inhale more. You Set the solar plexus. The light of the world. Beloved child. Inhale one more time. Squeeze the heart. Focus at your brow. Exhale slowly. You did great. One more time on here, on this be one. Inhale. Strong, be kind, be brave. Hands are in Gyan Mudra, eyes are focused to the brow. You see that golden pyramid there, that golden triangle. Hold to spend. Find your point. It's alright to be afraid. Know that you are loved. Exhale slowly to relieve. Rest in peace. Dream your sweet dreams. Three sweeping breaths. We're going to come on to our backs, yogis. Come on to your backs, please. Prepare yourself for stretch pose. Hug your knees into your chest. The navel gets a nice workout here, and then we go. So set that set manifestation station up, and then, you can, and then we can be on our way. Okay? Hug your knees to your chest, and make sure that your lower back is flush against the floor. We're gonna go through this really quickly. So extend your legs forward, keep your heels six inches off the ground. They hover off the ground, toes are pointed forward. You're gonna stretch from your center line all the way to your toes. Hands hover over your thighs here, reach your fingertips towards your toes. Eyes look at your toes, neck is up six inches, breath of fire. Stretch pose, please. So you're going to stretch all the way from that golden cord all the way through, through the center line. So see it between your toes and stretch and reach. That's it. That's perfect. You're only here for a minute and you're halfway there now. You're halfway. You could do it. I know you can. Beautiful. That's it. Reach. Reaching with your fingertips really helps. This is the, there's a different hold on this one, okay? So don't collapse out of it. Stay with me, okay? Inhale. Exhale. Keep your legs up. Hold out completely. Root lock, root lock, root lock, root lock, root lock. Keep root lock. Inhale. 
hold. Work on that digestion, squeeze. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful job, you did it. One breath, inhale. Exhale. Knees to your chest, inhale. Hug your knees to your chest and hug them in tight. Tight, 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 really tight. Squeeze and set the navel because we don't have too much time left, squeeze. Nose between your knees here, breath of fire. You're not here long, so don't pace yourself. And you're gonna create how you're going to feel tonight and in the next day and in the next day after that, right now, right here. And set the navel is a sure way to relieve your anxiety. Ground yourself in the navel. 15 seconds out, 15 to go. Nose between your knees, tuck it in tight. As tight as you can, as tight as possible. Do what you can do. Inhale. And exhale, release your legs all the way forward. Are you with me? We're gonna go right into life nerve stretch. Inhale. Exhale, come up and touch your toes. Touch your toes, fold forward. Life nerve stretch. You're planting your hands, you're breathing nice and deep. You're not gonna bounce here, just long deep breaths. You can pull your sit bones back, nice long therapeutic deep breaths. Press your thumbs into those big toenails. Stretching the spine, stretching the sciatic nerve. All components of the body where your life force is. Opens up the day, guides us on our way, illuminates the path we are to walk. Love lifts us Second to the last posture of the day. See if you can get deep, guys. Remember what we talked about? Let's create space. These are our last few breaths of this Kriya. Inhale together. Exhale together to lie all the way back, please. All the way back. The heels are going to stay on the floor here, but we're go we are going to stretch our arms towards our toes. So on this one, our head comes up like a modified stretch pose, but the heels stay up. So he uh, the heels stay down, the head comes up. Breath of fire. Last posture of the day. This one's gonna be really centering. I hope that your navel is shaking. Halfway. Fifteen seconds out. Opens up the day, guides us on our way. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Inhale. Squeeze the belly. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Curl your toes. Squeeze, squeeze. Last one. Last time you're going to be challenged. Hold. Exhale all the way back. You did it. Way you do. All the way back. Just open up. Let your body burst its energy you. naturally. Just surrender. Arms open. Bows out.
just be in the beauty of letting go. Relax your feet. Fronts and backs, soles of your feet. Inhale to those parts, exhale to relax and release. Ankles, shins, calves. Knees, fronts and backs of our legs. Let's inhale here. Exhale through the soles of your feet. So we're consciously relaxing the body, working our way all the way up to the top of our heads. Let the belly rise, exhale, allow it to just settle back into the earth, past the spine. Use solar plexus to generate energy for the rest of the body, pump it out, disperse. Soften the ribs. Soften in all of those places where you've been holding or bracing. Or wondering or worrying. Let go of all of those places. Let go of all of those spaces. And just give yourself a chance to drift here. Breathe into your beautifully tender, tender heart. Gentle heart. And use your breath to reclaim its natural flow. shoulders, dropping all of it away from the shoulders, through the arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, palms of your hands, to the tips of our fingers. To soften our ears, unlatch the hinge of your jaw. Unlock that jaw, part your lips, soften your tongue, all the way to the base of the tongue. Soften your nose, eyes, eyeballs, eyelids, eyebrows.
every follicle on the top of your head. Breathing through every pore on the surface of your skin. Maybe you're floating in the middle of the ocean. Maybe you're floating in outer space. Sense that kind of vastness. your fingers and your toes and rotate your ankles and your wrists please stretch your arms above your head for a full body stretch point your toes reach with your fingertips take a big inhale there and as you exhale, let your arms settle to the sides of your body, just up on the floor besides your body, palms down. You're going to use your hands as leverage here, leaving our left leg forward. Inhale your right knee to the chest. Exhale it to cross it over your body to the left side. Just let that knee drop to the left side of your mat. Yeah. You can reach out with the opposite arm. Turn your nose all the way to the right. The lower the knee, the lower down the spine. When you're ready, let's switch to the other side. Right leg forward. Shift some weight to that right hip. Make some room. All the way to center. Just take one breath in the center here. Stay grounded and centered. And then let's wake up those nerve endings. Rub the palms of the hands. Start a fire there, yogis. Rub your feet together. Rub your hands together. Find the friction there. Generate. Generate the heat. Hug your knees to your chest to rock up and down on the spine. This is the good, that's that last posture is the good one. <laughs> Feels the best. Let's come sitting up, please. Hands in prayer mudra. Wow, what was, what was that? I bow to you. I bow to your dedication. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Think of somebody who might need you, okay? Um, the prayer is, may the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you guide your way on. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Let's inhale deeply to begin. May the long time sun shine upon you. Our love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you. Our love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on guide your way on guide your way on, guide your way on. So Exhale. 
cut the tether to whatever is preventing you from feeling yourself being in the being in the experience of yourself fully cut all of those ties don't let anything interfere with how you relate to yourself I know things are crazy right now but you can wake up every morning thanking the breath thanking nature thanking your health let's be honest with ourselves as we move through these next few months work hard use that smile often and let compassion see us through please bow your heads in respects to all of your efforts today to all the yogis and yoginis all the saints gurus and sages that have selflessly illuminated our path for us